next stop. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Squid Jake. I've had these lovely ladies. Pretty sure only two of them are dudes. They've been sitting in storage. Gave my room. And I thought, I don't want them sitting in boxes the whole time, so might as well on to it. Ant-Man and the Wasps. Wasps. Got her on clearance and target. Let's open her up. with her wing set. Catch it to her back or detach it from her back. Very nice. Oh, they're posable too. Nice. That's really cool. Put glasses on her face, I could probably make her look like Steph. I'm trying to find the rest of this guy. I have his torso and one of his arms, I believe. Yeah, I'm not doing so great on that. Yeah, so to make the whole set, I just need Malekith, Black Knight, and Ant-Man. Shoot it kindly, were ya? Arm work backwards. There, arm, arm. Your arm's backwards. It's been handling you. I'll fix that up. I like the detail of the mask. It makes it look like makes it look like there's a base beneath it all. But it, there's there's really not. I'm sorry to break it to you guys. It's all an illusion. Certainly no MJ hair. There's a two pack of Far From Home Spider Man and Mary Jane? No, not Far From Home. Homecoming, sorry. The MJ in that box has two heads one with long hair, one with a ponytail. And the ponytail can, like, it's posable, you can move it around, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this one. You can move it around, but that doesn't seem to be the case for this one. in the third Harry Potter book slash movie. Hagrid introduced him to his first pair of magical creatures class, I think it was. Or was it, um, I forget what that class was called. Anyways. I was, just, I was hesitant on getting him, because I don't know if McFarlane was going to make like a bigger version of Buckbeak, so he could put a Harry, Ron, or Miney on top. But... Why the fuck not? I'll put this on the side now. I'm gonna put the skits up when I have my studio available. Right now I'm trying to set up my studio in my place. Looks so cool in that camera. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. I like how his legs bend. I like how you can bend his leg. 
I like how you can bend his legs. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh man, I should have got you sooner. Jeez, that's so cool. And we have saved the best for last. It's Super Saiyan Vegeta! Not just any Super Saiyan Vegeta, the new version of Super Saiyan Vegeta. This Super Saiyan Vegeta is part of Series 15, along with um, Super Saiyan Gogeta and Ultra Instinct Goku Sign. That's not Ultra Instinct, his hair's still black. Again, not familiar with that stage. Oh my god, I've been waiting to unbox you forever. Then get on with it then! God! He's got more detail than the regular Vegeta I got. Look at that. He's even got like a neck slot in there. Kinda works. I love how they added an X slot to this guy. I love how they added the X slot to this guy. He's also got the vein on. He's also got the veins on his forehead. Very nice detail. Very nice. You thought the Gallic gun was cool. Wait till you see the super Gallic gun! Ha! <laughs> Let's see Big Bird do that. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh, no, Vegeta! Never mind. Be on the lookout for the skits. It'll be up God knows when. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.